And good afternoon, Reggie here, giving you the virtual tour of the Land Cruiser 79 Series GXL Dual Cab. Now, as I mentioned, this virtual tour, I'll be going through all the interior and exterior of the car, pointing out scuff marks and marks that needs to be noted at first point of sale. Now, before I start the virtual tour for you here, let me just give you a quick tour of my yard here in Cairns, if you haven't been here before. Mate, where I'm standing is one of our two pre-owned dealerships. We hold over 200 plus cars at any given time. Make it's one of the biggest pre owned dealerships here. Across the street there as well, we've got the brand new Toyota showroom and Lexus showroom, as well as service and parts behind it there also. Just making our way back to the front of the car. As you can see, the car is prime stock, parked on the front line here. Starting with the front, ARB color-coded steel bull bar. A few little stone chips, which you, which you will get, obviously, being a pre owned vehicle. Obviously, it's there for its protection purposes. You've also got a winch compatible there as well, if you do want to fit one in. Nice big dash plate there underneath there as well. Work your way around and up. Now you've got the big king spotlights there already fitted to the vehicle. You've also got the GME antenna fitted for your two-way radio. Now the bonnet, as you can see, the clear cut is immaculate. Nice bonnet scoop there as well on the front. Windscreen there as well, there's no chips to crack. Now, 114,990 drive away, that includes all your on roads, red joe, stamp duties, and transfers. Just give you a zoom up from this angle here first. Work your way down. Obviously, GXLs with the flares. Now, in the front here, you do have your um, aftermarket alloys. Now, these are your Max's razors. I've actually got the exact same set on my Hilux. Um, now these ones here are your 295s, 70, 17s, aftermarket alloys there as well, plenty of tread left there as well too, and you've also got the old man EMU suspensions there as well fitted to the vehicle, all very neat and tidy there. Work your way down, GXL badge, you've got the nice black finish in the mirrors, nice chrome finish there as well on the doors, side steps fitted to the vehicle there as well too. You've also got there, you can see your weather shields front and rear. Now while I've got you here, the chassis itself, all very clean and tidy there. Okay. Work your way down. Now the tray, genuine steel tray. Back rim, same things, no scuff marks, plenty of tread left. Also suspensions there as well, old man emu there as well, all been set up. Okay. Zoom out from this angle here. Work your way to the back of the vehicle now. Now in the back. Very clean and tidy there as you can see. Tow bar fitted. Now a spare does normally fit in the back here as well, but you do have the full size spare. I do have it actually parked in the back there, um, away from out of sight, out of mind, so it doesn't get stolen. But it does come with the spare tire at the back, same size spares, uh, same size as the ones actually on the vehicle. Just keep it at the back for safekeeping. Fuel cap obviously here, turbo diesel, very clean and tidy as you can see. The tray, checker plate, all right. No issues there. Passenger side door. Just making my way through. Safari snorkel there as well, fitted in the vehicle. Front rims, there's scuff marks there. Plenty of tread left. And then back to the front of the car. Just giving you that full 360 view. Nice two inch lift there as well, as you can see the car's got a very nice stance, nice height there as well, obviously old man's suspension so can't go wrong. Back doors, power windows, vinyl seats there as well, or cloth seats my apology. Carpet of floors, rubber floor mats, cup holders there as well. Uh, two 12 volt power plugs in the back there, again that's all customised as well, they don't come stock standard. Roof lining, all intact, all in really great condition. And then the inside now for the door, for the driver's seat. 
All this is customized, obviously, then it comes stock standard. Cup holders, armrest, power windows, central locking. All in there for you. Again, driver's side door. Carpet floors, genuine rubber floor mat. Oops, just trying to get in. Oh. Center console as well, it's all been customized. Cup holders there as well. Very clean and tidy, dash mats on the vehicle. Windscreen, no chips or crack. Over here, oh. you've also got the key there as well for the rim. Service history, five years factory warranty. No private details here, so I can show you the first registration date is 31st of the 8th, 2022. So you got five years new car warranty from that date, so 2027th, eighth month. Skyfleet was original dealership to purchase from. And services is here. So 10,000 there was done. Toyota, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Meribar. 20,000 there was done, same place. 30,000 there was done, the same place. And Pacific Toyota just into the service. So full service history. Next one is in June until uh, 40, so 50, so 46,000 Ks. Also stamped there as well. Or the 10th month, whichever comes first. All right. Now, two fob keys and three spare keys, which is great to see. Get the car quick start. Just put it on neutral. All right, 36,000 Ks there on the clock. No warning lights, besides the handbrake, my seatbelt, and the door. Just give the car a quick rev. No funny fix or noises there, which is great. Steering wheel, airbag and horn, cruise control, blinkers, headlights, very easy to use there. Wipers, again, nothing too crazy. The cruise hasn't changed much in its, in its time, but obviously what isn't broken, there's no need to fix it. GME there as well, you can obviously measure it through there. Air vents, you've got the hazards, your clock, your sat nav, half screen, full screen, okay. You've also got a CD player still there as well. Back to your home, radio, all in there for you. SD, so you've got a USB charger there. Fan speed, temperature, very nice and cold. Traction control there as well. Your diff blocks are here, okay. Ashtrays, 12 volt power point, and you've also got USB plugs there as well. Five speed manual, four by four stick there as well too. Over here, you've also got your throttle control, the diff blocks again. They get all very clean and tidy. Just going to show you the engine bay of the vehicle now. Just so you can see in here, no funny ticks or noises. Very clean and tidy. Enough spare as well over there for a second bit of battery if needs be. But your nuts and bolts are still genuine from factory. No funny ticks and noises there. All right. There's your virtual tour. I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.